November 21st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Revelation chapter 10 from the New Testament. Then I saw another powerful angel descending from heaven wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun and his legs were like pillars of fire. He held in his hand a little scroll that was open, and he put his right foot on the sea and his left on the land. Then he shouted in a loud voice like a lion roaring, and when he shouted, the seven thunders sounded their voices. When the seven thunders spoke, I was preparing to write, but just then I heard a voice from heaven say, Seal up what the seven thunders spoke and do not write it down. Then the angel I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven and swore by the one who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and what is in it, and the earth and what is in it, and the sea and what is in it. There will be no more delay. But in the days when the seventh angel is about to blow his trumpet, the mystery of God is completed just as he has proclaimed to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice I had heard from heaven began to speak to me again. Go and take the open scroll in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, Take the scroll and eat it. It will make your stomach bitter, but it will be as sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. And it did taste as sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten it, my stomach became bitter. Then they told me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. God, how incredibly sweet your words are on our lips <laughs> and in our hearts. They provide comfort and joy and discipline <laughs> and incredible teaching. Just like Ezekiel said, incredibly sweet in my mouth. But I think the part that John was having a hard time with, and I struggle with this more and more as, as I learn more and more about your love, is when you start to understand, I will never understand all of your words, but when you start to understand the incredible words in the Bible that you gave us, God, as you start to understand those words, your heart starts to break more and more for the people who don't understand those words. My worldly love or dislike for people completely changed when you gave me my new heart. And now I have your love inside me. And my broken heart or my bitterness, just like John felt, comes from the fact that there's so many people who don't know that same love. God, I can't, I can't speak for anybody else but me, but I just ask that you take everything out of me that's me and you replace it with everything that is you that you want me to have, to know, to reflect. God, I want my life to be all about you. I'm so tired of it being all about me. It was for such an incredibly long time. Allow that bitterness, that sadness, that brokenness for other people. Allow it to do good for your kingdom. Allow it to empower and strengthen my testimony to other people and allow my life to be that testimony for you. God, I know that in the end, there's still going to be people who don't get it. I realize that there's going to be people who don't make it to heaven. It's pretty clear in your words here. But for everyone that you want me to talk to while I'm here on earth, and everyone who you want me to do something with or for, because whatever that looks like, again, just take everything out of me that's all about me and replace it with all about you. God, I thank you for this amazing book that is sweeter than honey. I can't imagine anything sweeter, but sweeter than honey. It brings me such joy every single day of my life. And I pray for the people who cause that hurt in my heart. 
And if my heart hurts, I can't imagine how yours must feel to have them so far away from you. God, please empty me and fill it with you and then use it to your glory. In your son's name I pray, amen.